name is David Hodges, and I am a hip-hop artist, music educator from Montreal, Quebec. And I am currently on the Nijinan Yushji tour. We passed through one of the smaller Cree communities here in Quebec, called OJ Bugamu. We introduced my workshops by a lunchtime performance, and then conducted studio sessions with young, eager artists. We had the chance of meeting Kimberly Niposh and Israel Bosom Diamond. Well, my name is Israel Bosom Diamond. I'm from here. I'm 19 years old. My parents are pretty young too, and I got a young family. Um, like during the days too, I. Like I said before, I substitute, and while I'm not substituting, uh, I snowboard, and free times, I have a lot of free time, so I'm practicing my guitars for like hours on end every day. I don't know how long, but it just keeps on going. Yeah, so that's cool. So you do, uh, so you're obviously really into music, you love music. Um, explain to us a little bit about your style of guitar because we know that it's not necessarily traditional. So explain to us a little bit about your style and why you decided to start playing like that. Uh, my my mom already played guitar for a while. Like she, I, I've seen her play for when I was a kid and yeah, I liked the sound of the guitar and I picked it up, learned the chords at first then my friend, my friends played guitar too, so they taught me a few things about reading tabs, and that that's how I started off first reading tabs for like two, three years. Then I got better and better, and then I started using my ear to like play through any any other, any other song, but it will take like weeks, months, I don't know. When yeah, I have a lot of different styles too. I guess I I play from regular tuning, drop D, drop B, drop C. The tuning I, I play in that guitar is really different. Like uh, from note to high is uh, C G C G G C, and it's really different from any other people I hear around here play. My name is Kimberly Niposh. I'm from Ujibugmo. I'm 22 years old, and I do music. Got me into music was I don't know. I was I was two years old. Picked up a guitar. The singer with the sing "Find Me," but I would be in front of the TV and I'd be like, "Mommy," <laughs> you know, like, that was my first rhyme ever. <laughs> yeah. And my parents knew I was I would be into music right away. They knew that I was crazy about music. Where did you learn to play guitar? Taught myself. Picked up my dad's guitar. I was collecting dust, so I was like, "If you're not playing it, I'm gonna play it." And also, like, being a hip hop artist or rapper, you're obviously into writing. How did you uh, get into writing? I guess it started when I when I learned how to write. <laughs> I always wanted. I always wrote journals when I was younger, and I realized that poetry was. Uh, I really like poetry. Um, what kind of impact do you think a female Cree rapper slash guitarist can have, such as yourself, on their community? Could be an impact, big impact. You know, I know. Uh, I know so many uh, natives especially Cree women and ladies, girls, whatever you want to call them. They're uh, bedroom musicians and I just want them to, to be inspired by me, you know? Come out of your bedroom, <laughs> record something. Because I was a bedroom musician as well. I always played in my room and I never, uh, the music never left my room, you know? So now it's a great pleasure to record. Yours res is this, res is mine. The res is mine, the res is mine. Whose res is this? The res is yours, the res is yours, the res is yours. Ever since my teen years, I've been into this rap biz, but never took it seriously. Thought we better without it. Now I'm 22, spitting rhymes like a habit. Yeah, got a music note, tatted. Say, Kimmy got talent. Take it further, grasp it. People live in the past, which could look past it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Live life my way, never part to you, but you don't gotta assume. Too naive and a fool. I was told the only way out is the only way through. Whose res is this? Res is mine. 